What's up, everybody? It's been a while. Uh, I got way too much stuff going on in my life, so I haven't made any videos in a while, but just want to kind of check in and say what's up. So, uh, yeah, I haven't posted anything on either of my channels, my Fasting Vegan channel or my Fasting Vegan Vlog channel, which I think I'm going to rename the Vlog channel to, let's see, I think I'm going to rename it to Fasting Vegans Income Property, no, Real Estate Investing Channel. I think that's what I'm going to name it. Been learning a lot about uh, real estate investing and all kinds of stuff like that, so. Um, where do I start? Where do I start with what's going on in my life? I don't know. Well, let's see here. If you follow my other channel, um, I was making videos about uh, vlog videos. Um, let's see. Um, I was getting this income property. It's basically a four unit income property. I sold my um, primary residence. Okay, so I sold that house and honestly, I've my uh, my, my fiance, kids, you know, we've got three kids all together. Um, and myself, it, we stayed with my mom for a month. Now we're staying with her mom. And we've been there, but I closed on my house, um, the house I sold, um, April 15th. So now it's, it's June. So we've been out of that house for over six weeks, um, because they got occupancy and closing. Um, I bought a four unit. I closed on it. Um, gosh, when was that? a month later, so I think that was about 5.15, about May 15th, something like that, so, and originally, we were going to, um, we were going to, okay, it's a, the four unit is a main house and then a three unit apartment behind it, so, um, Ideally, it wasn't something, wasn't a place I wanted to stay at or live at, but we were going to stay there, basically stay there for free and, and have some extra income to save for, to buy more income producing properties. So, um, with that being said, we, okay, basically I closed on the house that same day. I gave the renters that were in the main house, I gave them a 30 day notice uh, and they really didn't even know. Um, they kind of knew that it was for sale because it, it wasn't on the market. Um, you know, it was, uh, I bought it. It was, somebody knew that he was trying to sell it and whatnot. So that's how I found out and, you know, was interested and bought it. But anyways, closed on that, gave him 30 day notice. Um, and then like basically two weeks it went by and <clears throat> I felt bad for having to kick them out because they'd been there for two years um, and I talked to them and they were actually going to have to move out of, they are going to have to move, it wasn't real far away, but they are going to have to pull their kids out of the school system, which is like the best, in the top five in the state, the school uh, district. So they were going to have to do all that. And I felt bad and, you know, realistically, we didn't want to have to move into there and then uh, move out when I bought another house. You know down the road so we went ahead and we just happened to see that this house was for sale because actually it's in another it's it's not very far away from that four unit but I mean it, it kind of is but it's out in the country and it's actually in the city south of that there but it's the same school district so and that's what we ideally wanted so um, I talked to my realtor we went to go see the house, but before we went to see it, it was only on the market for five days, um, and, uh, 
we were getting ready to go see it, and my realtor called me or texted me or whatever. She said, hey, there's an offer on this house. They just Somebody just put an offer on this house. And I said, well, um, if we like it, I'm going to put an offer on it. So, so that's what we did, and I made a better offer. Well, I don't know if it was better, but basically gave them uh, what they were asking. I offered them what they were asking, but actually I offered them $3,500 more and asked for them to pay closing costs, $3,500. So basically giving them, um, offer them full price. So actually just went and had the house inspected today, um, dealing with all that. So, um, actually, <clears throat> um, let's see. So I just closed on that four unit a month ago, not even a month ago, not even a month ago, two, three weeks ago. Yeah. Like three weeks ago, closed on that house. I'm actually in the process of refinancing another property that I have um, just to lower the payment and I'll actually have more cash flow. Um, see, I kinda, I've kind of i got so much going on. Like this isn't even tip of the iceberg. So, um, shit. So, um, yeah, I don't know. So basically refinancing that property buy, and I'm getting ready to buy this property um, so that's what's going on. Jesus. I, I can't even, it's going to be a whole nother video with, uh, what I need to talk about. So, um, I'll just leave it at that and I'll make another video. So, uh, I'll upload this one first, then I'll upload the other one. But, uh, anyways, man, I don't know. What do you do? So, uh, anyways, like, subscribe, comment. Um, hit me up on Instagram at FastingVegan. You can email me, FastingVegan at gmo.com. But anyways, uh, go vegan and uh, try some intermittent fasting while you're at it too. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.